back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I'm your host, BoomH319. Let's take one step up, one more step up, and press X. That'll give us a tent. All right, everything's good. Let's check this book here. Be these schedule, be these time schedules? Hmm, they're all blank. The Phantom Train guides the departed ones to the spirit world. They have no need of schedules. Hmm. That guy's pretty creepy. <clears throat> I mean, this is a, like a train of dead people. Let's go over here. <clears throat> so, yeah, what is he doing here? What's this? Let me just give it a... Sir Sabin. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't fumble with that. Ha! Ah, come on now. I, I don't care. Gave it my best shot. How, how can you? How could you? Can you? Could you? Whatever. Cyan, you're not... Scared, are you? <laughs> of course he is. He's an old dude. How dare you? Just because I respect the other beings, <laughs> beings, property doesn't mean I'm not mechanically minded. No, you're a klutz. Yeah, just like what Savin said. Cyan, you're a total klutz when it comes to <laughs> machines. How did you know? <laughs> oh man, I gotta love Cyan. Him and Savin, Cyan and Savin will be making you laugh for quite some time. Uh, they're just a great team uh, when it comes to the dialogue. But um, I want to talk to this ghost here. <clears throat> what is it? Well, it seems like we can uh, take him with us. Yeah, let's bring him along. Sorry, I read that wrong. But, um, all right, for you guys that don't know, we just uh, recruited, not Shadow, but kind of like a normal Shadow. This is a ghost. Um, he's not a normal character. He will die. You know, and you can just recruit another one, I think. Um, you can put him in the front row if you want, but he'll die pretty quickly if you do that. So just keep him in the back row. Um, that's the whole reason um, I keep everyone in the back row. Well, not all the time, but, you know, they'll take less damage and they won't be targeted as much. So it's better when you keep a um, one person in the front row because they'll be targeted the most. And that's usually better when it's like a, a high HP dude or somebody. I'll get into that later. <clears throat> so, um, here, let's just go, okay. Of course. Alright, Whisper. I think you guys have seen these people by now. Let's, uh, use a Shuriken, or Shuriken. Blitz, always use Orbolt. All these, since all these enemies, and yeah, you should be using, uh, Savin's first sword attack. All these enemies are undead, so... If you want to just kill off your ghost, you can possess one of these enemies and they'll instantly die, but for the most part, you shouldn't even have the ghost attack. I don't even know why I did that. Uh, just skip his turn for the most part. It really doesn't even matter because he's not going to be able to one-shot anybody like the rest of the team. So, so we got two soft potions. Uh, I really like soft potions in Final Fantasy IX. Uh, they really made that <laughs> that potion useful in that game. I I really liked soft potions in that game, and I'll get into that once I LP it. So let's go down here. Let's try and find. I think there's one guy here. Okay, that's not it. Now there's one guy in the one ghost in this uh, level who let's blitz auto or or bolt. Um, but yeah, there's one guy in this um, in this uh, train car who uh, actually will sell us something. So I want to get to him right now. So he's gonna help us a lot. <laughs> oh man, been watching a lot of FIFA lately. Oh, here he is. Howdy, folks. I have some great value price items. Shop. Now, seeing as how we don't have a white mage in our party, um. You could re, you could re, uh, you know, re, you know, resupply yourself with shurikens. Um, It really isn't that important, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm kind of crazy. Like when it comes to items that you use to like attack, I always want them to be topped off. Um, but um, let's see, we got 14, um, 14 potions and 14 tonics. I'm gonna go ahead and buy 10 more tonics just because it really doesn't matter. Uh, if you guys don't have the tonics that I have or the potions that I have, you might want to because, you know, I mean, if you fight a lot of enemies in this 
bat in this uh, sequence, you're gonna want to have a way of healing yourself. So you just keep traveling to the um, left. You'll be fine. I uh, don't talk to any of these ghosts because they are enemies. <laughs> I think uh, there should be a couple new enemies in here that I haven't shown off. Okay, here we go. Let's use Autobolt, or Aura Bolt. And uh, I think this is the still going enemy. Eh, not that, not that important of an enemy, but uh, whatever. Yeah, it's basically a palette swap of um, an enemy that we've had, like Marshall or like Sol one of the soldiers. <clears throat> you know, you'll see a lot of pallet swaps in this game, but whatever, you know? In this game, that's not what should make you like, oh, this is a pallet swap. Don't worry about that, man. These The designers weren't caring too much about that. They were too busy on the, um, on the story. So here we got a new enemy, Hazer. Let's use a shootikin on uh, the, or the, I don't know, I for, kind of forgot. Um, yeah, the, the hazer is the new enemy, the whisper is not. Um, oops, excuse me, I'm sorry, I got the hiccups. <laughs> um, I want to uh, not use, like I said, um, his, and uh, his, the ghost's technique, and I just want to use these shurikens. It's probably the best way to go get a little bit of experience and I mean basically all the um, enemies are going to give you close to 500 GP so you'll be fine. It's pretty nice too. I mean let's just keep going to the left and uh, we'll be fine. Keep going. Of course. Who do we have here? Uh, okay just a, a different formation. Now, I never explained this to you guys, but, you know, formations are going to be pretty important pretty soon. Um, you're going to want to have, you know, basically fought as many different um, formations as possible. I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I'm sure if you're playing a retro game like this, you guys understand why. So, I don't want to say for the LP sake, because there are people out there that I know that are going to watch this that don't know what I'm talking about, and I'm not trying to ruin it for them. So we can't go in. We can't go in through there. So let's just go in through the um, the door here. <clears throat> All right. Hey, what did that guy just show up for? N O E S. Okay, I guess that means yeah, no escape. All right. Okay. You gotta fight the ghost here. <clears throat> Alrighty then. This will be quite easy with basically a shuriken. Um, this is one of the reasons I just, you know, if you guys haven't bought the shurikens, um, you know, before in that last town we were at, make sure to buy them because they're so cheap and they're just, they caught, I mean, just, they're so cheap and they're so awesome. And there's just you, no reason why you shouldn't. So, um, <clears throat> whatever did you think you were doing? No escape. There goes that punctuation weirdness. Who's there? Came from this direction. Uh, yeah, that face, yeah, is pretty, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna need to find a different way, Cyan. Um, yeah, no, there's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Just like the ghosts that are basically <laughs> friggin' surrounding you. Let's climb up this ladder. Can't escape. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Again, I must tell you again. One more time. There you go. Bloody persistent. Yeah, you're gonna you guys are gonna love Cyan. Um he's filled with awesomeness. Uh him and Sabin have like a really cool dynamic together. I believe we're stuck. Hmm. Well, I know. You have an idea? Okay. The time has come to see if all my training has paid off. Come on, Cyan. Get inside me. And let us... Yahoo.com! Bam! You made it. Jump. Man, Sabin, you're awesome. You just jump over whoever you can. Yeah, it's just awesomeness. That's all I gotta say. No escape? Hey. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> oh man, what a great game. We have to detach the rear train cars. Okay. Well, let me help you guys out with that. <clears throat> what you guys need to do is you go over here, press the button. Now you, it kind of just takes you over there. All right, now we have detached. Now where do we go? Well, I'll tell you where we go, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. This is my first LP, and I know you guys know this. You guys could easily just watch it anywhere else, but you want to press this switch, and um, here's a save point if you guys care. Um, you don't want to talk to anybody, um, any of these ghosts at least. Unless you, unless, I think, I don't know, if maybe if you, um, if your ghost died, I think maybe you can get a new ghost. But anyways, we have a new, a new, um, enemy. That is the, I think, um, yeah, the Overmind. And that right there, guys, was, I don't want to say a limit break, but it was basically, um, Shadow's, um, dog. His dog's name was, um, okay, that's it, that'll kill him. Shadow's dog's name is Interceptor, and he comes, uh, basically throughout the game, throughout the battles you go through, he'll just appear out of nowhere. Oh, found a green cherry, that's nice. He'll just appear, and sometimes he'll kill a boss for you. Um, I mean, seriously, he'll just, he'll use a different move, kind of like, uh, you remember Angelo in, uh, Final Fantasy VIII, uh, one of my favorite, uh, Final Fantasies? Um, in Final Fantasy VIII, he would uh, have different uh, attacks, Angelo, which was Renoa's uh, dog. So, um, let's just keep going left. So, yeah, I guess you can call it the beginning of the limit break back then. This is not a limit break, but let's see what we got here. Food, food, bring me everything you got. All right. Okay, that looks pretty good. Got some green and meat color are you going to be be okay if you eat this <laughs> come on can't wage war on an empty stomach I totally agree Savin hmm sir I won't hear any more of this kind of talk listen you're gonna be eating pretty soon okay now what's cool here is this is basically a heel spot but it, it's not just a heal spot. It comes with like a little bit of dialogue, if you guys care about dialogue. Um, I've never been the person to care uh, about dialogue, but um, I'm gonna just go ahead and show you the different dialogue you can have. Well, I've stuffed down all I can, let's go. Let's change our, um, this is what you do here if you wanna get some different dialogue. Uh, Let's, let's stay with Cyan, because we are Cyan right now, and I guess the first one that you start with is always Sabin. So let's back up a little bit. Just go back in. There we go. And the ghost comes up. Care for something? Uh, yeah, sure. Want some uh, barbecue ribs, please? One moment, please. I love barbecue anything. So, I mean, barbecue cat is pretty good, but no, it's not, because I love cats, and I would never want to eat a cat. Sure I have, because I eat a lot of Chinese food. No! I'm joking, guys. I didn't mean that. Okay? It's just a kind of like a joke we have over here. Anyways, I love cats. I love Chinese food. That's it. <clears throat> Are you going to be okay if you eat this? Are you asking yourself that? or? Yeah. Come on, man. Don't worry about it. You just don't act, don't talk to yourself, Cyan. Just, just eat what's given to you by the eerie ghost in the train to the nether world. You're fine, okay? Alrighty then. <clears throat> so, uh, let's uh, try a different guy. I think, uh, I, I don't know if the ghost makes a different, um, a different, um, let's try going to the, okay. Let's go to the ghost. I wonder if that, I never thought about this. If the ghost uh, makes a different. Yeah, see, you can walk around as a ghost, so. Alright, ghost. Care for something? Yes, please. I want something ghostly. Please, something ghastly. Okay, there we go. That's pretty ghastly. I love his little face he makes there. He's like really happy, but kind of looks like he's worried. Anyways, Matt. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Gobble, snarf. Yeah, he doesn't make a big difference. Okay. Yeah, so, but any, anyways, guys, if you guys want to heal yourself or maybe even do some grinding, you can, um, you can basically just go around fighting and stuff and everything's fine. Remember, Shadow won't leave your party. He doesn't have that 1 in 16th chance anymore. As long as you're on this train, everything's fine. So, um, let's see. Cyan, Shadow. Let's try Shadows one more. Yeah. I don't think we did Shadows. Um, ba 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 There we go. I think he has a pretty, uh, pretty interesting one. Care for something to eat? As long as a dog gets something. One moment, please. What you got? Alright. Oh, let's see. That's Interceptor. He's basically Shadow's dog. Interceptor, are you hungry? Oh, nice dog. He looks like kind of like a German Shepherd or like a Rottweiler, something like that. That's awesome. Gobble, gobble, snarf, snarf, snap, noms, all that stuff. Okay, we're done. I'm sorry, guys. I just wanted to show some dialogue. <clears throat> I learned that through a guide. Um, I bought the guide um, online. Um, I actually have the guide right here. Um, the actual original guide to this game. The well, the Final Fantasy VI, the PlayStation remake. But um, you know, like I didn't think that you know, like going online or whatever. I, I like to have what I you know, I like to have a hard copy of it. So oh, I guess we can't go through that way. Don't worry, you can't run into any enemies over here. But I always like to have a hard copy of something, you know? But <laughs> this game for, let's say, Game Boy Advance, I think I spoke about it before, it's like $150 for the Game Boy Advance version. I have, believe it or not, I have a copy of the Final Fantasy V for Game Boy Advance, and that was actually $80 I paid for it. So, <clears throat> I don't care. Final Fantasy V was at one point my favorite game in the world. Um, I think I've spoken about, uh, my buddy Galif's, uh, Galif Black Mage. Okay. He has a, uh, remake, or he has a LP of this game. He's actually in progress of doing it. Um, he's awesome. You know, I think I've said that before. I don't want to say, like, that he's too awesome, but he really is. Oh, man, I messed up on that one. That's going to be incorrect. But, yeah, he, I just, I, I really like Galif because he's, He's just got great taste in video games. I think I've said this before, but um, he's just a really cool guy. Um, uh, he, he gave me some good advice once. I messed up and d downloaded something from the site that he told me to go to, and I'm not. That is not his fault. He, he's has, he probably just assumed that you know I knew not to download anything from that site. So I'm a fool, but. Um, Gallif, yeah, he's a good guy. Um, you guys should check out his LP of, uh, Final Fantasy V. It's really nice. He's also got a Final Fantasy, um, or, I'm sorry, a Thousand Arms, uh, LP. Which I'll end up, um, I'll end up, uh, what do you call it, LP in one day. But, um, what is this here? Stop where you are. Got great tapes in video games. He's an awesome dude. Anyways. Siegfried, the world's greatest swordsman. <laughs> Talking about that chest is his. Yeah. If I were you, if I were you, Ox, I'd grab Grandpa here and run. Oh man, this is gonna be sad. You look more like a manicure. <laughs> oh man, Savin, thank you for that. You're awesome. Aha, the Ox bellows. Allow me to introduce my blade. Nah, bruh. I don't think you understand what's gonna happen to you, man. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt in a couple different ways, alright? Go! Guys! Ha! 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 Give up? Ha! Man, that's some... That's some mean talk rate. Oh, whoa! Three, two, miss... Slow down, Siegfried. You're doing heavy damage to my party. Damn, bro. I wish I wish I was able to do that. Well, you know what, man? I'm gonna just go ahead and just just do something like this. Yeah, there we go. Just go to one. Let's go to um, uh, Shrewkin. There we go. 
Uh, maybe, yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. You died. Hey. Hey, you died. Green cherry. All right. That sounds about right. Okay. That sounds about right. All right. Well, uh, yeah, he is a bag of wind. Yeah, you are impossible. And you are the greatest, but... Nah, man. You're... you're... What? Hey! Whoa, this is mine. This treasure chest is mine. Ta-ta, Cretans. What? Hey, man. Why'd you do that? I deserve that chest more than you. What's in here? Is there anything in here? Is there anything? Oh, look at that. We got a tent. Well, anyways, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it right here. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I am your host, Blue Mage Room Nine, always, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.